Okay, welcome back uh, to our Black and Philippine Institute. We're going on part two with my good friend Ben. And we just talk about Jesus Christ. One thing I always find out when people are question about God, I ask them, you know, who came first, the chicken or the egg? Yeah. So, some people will say, oh, it's egg. But if we go to the Bible, it's the chicken. And, and you wonder, you know, how, you know, how, you know, how can either or happen, you know, without the other? Yeah. One of them has to be first, and we, we the answer is chicken. Why? Chicken, because uh, in time of creation, God said, let there be light, let there be darkness, let there be land. And now, he, he created every kind of the birds. He did a good chicken. job when he created chicken, because everybody in the world loves chicken. I love chicken. <laughs> chicken is the only animal that doesn't grow old, you know. Yeah. But yeah, but I can understand that when people say that that if you, when you ask which came first, the chicken or the egg, and the answer is chicken, and the chicken had to be created, and who created the chicken it has to be a god. Yeah. And some people say, well, you know, uh, you can't see them. You know, how can you believe in something you can't see? Okay. And so I tell people, well, well you know, uh, can you see air? No, you, you can't see air. But, it, but, but you, you believe, know. you believe that air is there it because moves. you take a breath. You take the air. You take a breath. You yeah. know, it sustains your life. Yeah. So, you know, it has to be something more than just something. Yeah. Okay, now, now let's talk a little bit about the laws in the Philippines. Okay. You know, um, we talked about marriage and and abortion and things of that nature. What are some of the major, you know, uh, laws in the Philippines that foreigners need to understand when dating a Filipina or even marry a Filipina or, or even having a child? Okay. A foreigner having a wife, Filipino wife, uh, well, that's, that's a very serious agreement. Well, we don't know what's the motive or the desire of every person. But a foreigner that comes to the Philippines, it's about what is focused. Some would like to have a Filipina wife. And that's a very serious thing. There must be an agreement. And sometimes, you know, the problem is uh, when you marry a uh, Filipina wife, you, you, your family will will grow. Yes, it does. <laughs> yes, it does. Yeah. Yeah. It's a beautiful yeah. thing. It's a, I mean, my, my being a foreigner coming here and not having much of family back yeah. home in the U.S., yeah. I think I have two. I have my daughter, yeah. and I have my brother, and I have an uncle who I consider the family. Yeah. So coming into the, fam the Philippines and marrying my wife and her having a family, an extended family, it's beautiful. Yeah. You know, you know, you know, I enjoy it. At first I used to say, ah, damn, they're here again. But now I look for it. You know, now now I, I welcome them to come because it's you know it's having a family around. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. A, a Filipino woman is a lovely woman. <laughs> and if you're serious, level men they will be level men. I have already good did another segment, Calvin, so and where we go. Cool. Okay, so we go past 12? Uh, yeah, we don't go past. I'm, I'm going to splice it and make two. We have Calvin who's, uh, uh, who's, no. um, who's, uh, who's keeping track of the time. So, um, <laughs> wait. Uh, in fact, in fact, uh, pa uh, uh, pause it for a minute right here, uh, Rachel. And, uh, Let's Calvin, take a break. No, no, yeah. Calvin, bring that pink chair here because we're in a row right now. No, Raphael! No. We're, talking about, we're talking about marriage. Yeah, maybe. Oh, okay. Yeah. So what, what is it we're talking about what a foreigner needs to know whenever he met? Because to my understanding, you know, um, that you can't get involved with a married Filipino woman. If you get involved with a married Filipino woman and if, if you are with her, then anyone can file a case against you. Yeah. Whether it be the husband, the cousin, yeah. or whether can file a case against you, and you can find yourself in serious trouble in the jail. You know, because you're with a married Filipino woman. So that's something that you don't want to do. Yeah. You know, and um, so that's the, my understanding of what it means to a married Filipino woman. I mean, you know, and 
if you look at the lore on um, on um, uh, the internet, it says that the husband can have another partner, but as long as that he's not supporting her, you know, which is which I find very interesting that as long as he's not supporting her, he can have an extramarital affair. Yeah, amen. And one other thing that I found out, and I mean, you can correct me any one of these items that are, that are wrong, that if uh, a, a Filipino who is married and, and goes with a foreigner and has a baby with him, you know, out of wedlock, that's what it is, out of wedlock, okay. that baby belongs to the husband. So you can speak on any one of those three uh, 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 avenues I walk on. Yeah, it's, uh, it's the great spaces. It's, uh, and uh, whatever the wife is, Lord of the Solomon. Get out of here, get out of here, Lord of the It's in the agreement. But the foreigner cannot bring uh, the child without the agreement. So you were speaking about the birth certificate. I've got that one. What birth certificate? Every, every uh, child born, she or he must have a birth certificate. The day he or she was born, right. um, the, mother, the mother's name, the father's name, but if not in the widla, uh, the father's name will not appear on the front side. It's only the mother. Oh, oh, and, uh, and it's you, a single mother. Oh, okay. But you can sign at the meaning you had agreed, and uh, uh, you had uh, you had the, the what you call this the decision to support the child. Now, like uh, if the child is, uh, I kind of lost my book and saying because you talk about the birth certificate and everything. But what's the thing about if I, I, I saw a video one time, uh, and it's supposed to be a documentary about a guy who had uh, a baby with a, with a Filipino, okay. and he, he couldn't. He, he couldn't take the baby out of the country because the baby belonged to the father. Yeah. Okay. So, that's the case to case It's in accordance to the agreement of the woman and the man. Because they will not be called a uh, white man because out of wedlock. So, it's a case to case basis in accordance to the law. We have the law. Okay, so let's talk about abortion. Abortion is illegal here in the It's illegal. And, and I, I spoke on one of my videos a couple of days ago that if a woman has an abortion and she's in the hospital, they test her for abortion drugs. Okay. You see, if she had this actual miscarriage or if it was an abortion. Yeah. And if it was an abortion, she could go to jail, yes? Well, uh, so many happenings like that. But there are some uh, illegal, you know, abortion in a secret places. And uh, they just pay to abort. But it's against the Filipino law. Uh, especially in the old traditions, when you have that abortion, they will say it's not good. Well, you know, I you know I know divorce is not something that is practiced here in the Philippines. No, divorce, not divorce. No, and uh, um, but um, I remember once when President Duterte was in office that he was trying to make it easier yeah. for for the couples to get a divorce. Because they said that that's better for the child. Because if a child can have the opportunity of the parents separating and enter into another legal matrimony, then a child can grow up in a much healthier environment yeah. than I, I've been in an environment. Yeah, of course. Well, that was good, but you know, sometimes religious groups influence, influence uh, uh, some families. You know, Abortion 
uh, with with the divorce. There, there is no divorce in the Philippines. It has, I, th I think it has been approved. Yes. But there's, there's a, an annulment, right? There's, is there an annulment or something? Or, but I think that's, it is uh, already in the semi. Yeah. Yeah. You know, um, I know when I was with this girl, one of my story jobs, you know, I was with this girl, and uh, when I first met her, she told me she'd never marry, she had no children, blah, 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 like this. To make a long story short, you know, um, I was talking to uh, a partner friend of mine who used to play basketball on Sunday, and we just always stop by my favorite spot for the uh, free. And he told me that um, uh, we were talking, and I said, yeah, man, she's married. And he turned to me and said, she's married. God, she's married. I said, yeah, man, she's married. He said, are you crazy? I said, what are you talking about? He said, you can't live with a married Filipino woman in the Philippines. And he said it with such conviction that I Googled it. And he was absolutely not. Right. I cannot. So what I did was, you know, I had a friend of mine own a hotel. Uh, who managed a, ho uh, a hotel in Cebu. I said, look, have lunch with me. And I had the girl come, and uh, I told her, look, we can't continue. I said, you have to get out of my house. You have to leave right now. I gave her 25,000 pesos. I gave her a place to stay, and I paid the I paid the 5,000 pesos a year to get her life together. But I said, you have to get away from me because I'm not going to leave my livelihood, my freedom, with your hands to somebody who's jealous over what it is that we have that can have me locked up. Yeah. And that's how serious, you know, you know, I, you know, I took it because, you know, I wasn't going to go down that road. Yeah. But anyway, uh, we're running out of time right now. So first of all, how's your wife and family? I met her. Yeah. We're doing, you are doing okay. Okay. And, uh, Four children have been married, and I have five grandchildren. Amen. And, uh, and with, there are problems, and, uh, 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 but uh, God is good. All the time. And all the time? God is good. <laughs> you know, the reason I hooked up with Ben, because I, I, I played a video of a girl in church who was singing, and it was at his church that where I found about this girl. Like and I wanted that. to see him, but I found out the church is no longer in existence, etc. But before yeah. we go, what advice would you give someone about following their dreams and goals? Did you always want to be a pastor? But was it your life calling? Or how did you know when you wanted to be a pastor? Well, uh, it's a call. Uh, we, we can't understand how that works. Uh, not all were called. Not all pastors were called. <laughs> but you know, in my life, uh, it's hard to explain how God works. Exactly. There are so many things to do. So what advice could you give someone about following their calling, their dream? You know? Well, the advice could give is, uh, number one, they must be in the world. Okay. The word of God. Number two, okay. they must be in prayer. So, word and prayer must not separate. It goes together. So we must be in the word of God. So that we can understand God's will, God's purpose in our life. We must be in His word and in prayer. Prayer is important. That is how Jesus encourages His disciples to be in the word and to be in prayer. No, okay. we, have, we have to be uh, committed, serious in the world. Because whatever we sow, we okay. oh, no. so, can't